What is the sexual artisan merging the worlds of Tantra, power exchange, and erotic playfulness? Well, I'm Dan Powers with Beyond the Bedroom, and I'm here with Pamela Matson as we're going to talk about this upcoming event in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, very excited to be doing this at the Columbus Space, February 18th, actually February 17th in the evening, and then February 18th. Pamela, welcome. You're my partner in this, so would love to co-collaborate here with what it is that we're offering to our wonderful guests out of Columbus, Ohio. And everyone who wants to fly in. And everyone who wants to fly in, absolutely. To be with us for the weekend, because we're going to be there all weekend, um, even though the event is Friday evening, a very full Friday evening, because you know, Dan, with us, content isn't the issue, right? That's true. Time is the issue. So <laughs> Friday, Friday evening, all day Saturday, and then something really exciting for a lot of people, the opportunity to um, come into a really safe, established play space for that evening where they can watch because watching is an activity. Yes. Um, and watch and learn and see how other people play or play. Yep. Or both. I like maybe both, but you know. I like both. You know, it, it's fun, always fun to participate in, in ways where you're just sitting and watching and sometimes where you're actually doing the, the actual activity. So and I think then, that's great. Exactly. And then there's the opportunity on Sunday for people who come to this workshop um, to do privates with us. Mm -hmm. We'll be available for people who aren't coming to the workshop, but the people who come to the workshop will get a special discount. So if they're, if they're flying in for the weekend um, and making, you know, an event out of this, it can truly be an event. So the sexual artisan, I love, first of all, I love the title. Yeah. So tell us about it. Why would somebody want to become a sexual artisan? I think because the erotic is an art and it's not a play by play book. It's something that we interpret through our own self. And there's so much emphasis, I think on each kind of category of sex, right? So Dan, I know that you are a very high level um, student of Tantra, a teacher of Tantra. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm a somatic sex educator. We both have an interest in BDSM, um, power exchange. I prefer that term, actually, mm -hmm. to BDSM and sensation play. And so do we just do one thing? You know, I don't think so. Yeah. And I, this workshop is for people who want to really blend their skill sets. Yes. I know between the two of us, we have a huge amount of diverse trainings. Uh, you know, I've done Tantra, I've done a lot of body electric, and uh, you know, just so many different things that are out there, so many different flavors of Tantra and other kinds of things. And so what we're going to be doing in this weekend is having fun, number one, playful, and bringing in all of our skill sets um, and what it is that we do and how we do it, how we read people, exploring, discovering different erogenous zones from what we already have. Uh, you know, the sad thing that I've seen out there is a typical way that we've learned how to be sexual is through experimentation and porn. And that was my life up until about a little over a decade ago when I started my journey of learning what it is to, to right. how, how it is to be sexual and become the sexual artisan that I am today. And so we'll be talking about a lot of different kinds of trainings uh, to really incorporate all that into your lovemaking and have everybody become the sexual artisan. And your play. Absolutely. And then they'll have a chance to maybe take some of it out. Um, you know, first of all, in our workshop and, and look, you know, don't be scared. If you're, looking, if you're like listening to this and you're like, are we going to have to get naked and masturbate in a circle? No, no, you're not going to have to do that. Okay. Um, personally, it's my least favorite activity. So um, we, we, you never have to do anything. Everything will be safe. There will be some nudity involved in your comfort level. 
Mm-hmm. You don't have to get naked. And there will be some activities where some nudity will be invited. Mm-hmm. They'll get to see some live demos. Yep. And they're always at choice for all of this. And that, that's a, a phrase that I've taken from one of the many teachings that I've had in the past. But, you know, it's really true. There's no judgment for what you decide to do or not to do. You are at choice. It's your boundaries. And if we have an exercise where there's some nudity that's involved and you wish not to participate in that, then that's absolutely okay. You can still observe and see what is that's there and then take it to the private space of your home, hotel room, whatever that might be. Or you can do it with your clothes on. A possibility is to do an activity with your clothes on. And I, I want to talk to the couples and the singles out there. So if you're a couple, um, this is right after Valentine's Day. What a great gift to give to your partner is a weekend away to delve into the erotic. Mm -hmm. If you're a single out there, don't think that you're going to get left out or there's no one to play with or you might be uncomfortable. Um, This is also a great Valentine's gift to yourself. Because Dan and I are going to be there. Yep. And we're going to help if there are a few singles. We're going to help pair up. We're going to help pair up all the various people. Mm-hmm. And we're also going to be participating. Yep. And supporting. So nobody, first of all, has to wait to get picked. Don't you hate that? Yes. Yeah. Actually, there's no picking. No. No, no, none of that no. awkward wallflower kind of thing will we'll mm-hmm. facilitate everybody being able to get together. Absolutely. And again, you have a choice. So you can always say, whoa, you know, Hamlet and Dan, come here. I don't know how comfortable I am in this group. And we'll do that. So this is a very sexy invitation. Yes. So if, you, if it sounds like it's something that you're interested in, we would love to see you there. You can contact either one of us for more information. Uh, you can contact me at dan at bedevents.com, and I'll put that below here. Uh, you can contact Pamela at Pam Madsen, M A D S E N, at gmail.com. Okay. And then if you want more information online, you can always go to the Columbus Space website. Uh, or just go straight to the registration, and I'll give you a simpler link to go to, but it's btbe.co slash 2017 sex art. And this will, I promise you, this will sell out. It's very reasonably priced. You can fly in for this. If you're a local, come. Some of you out there, and I know who you are, wanted me to come back. And said, Pamela, please come back. Do something for couples, for singles. Well, we're doing it. And not only are we doing it, I'm bringing the sexy guy with me. So that's a bonus. Yeah, you, Dan, you're the sexy guy. (laughs) So I hope that all of you that came to Portal last year who asked to come back, that you come and all of you from around the country fly in. It's worth it. It's a great gift. Remember. It's the sexual artisan, lending, tantra, power exchange, somatic touch, all of the possibilities in one workshop. Absolutely. Hope to see you there.